Hey everybody, I am back here with my Sense of Days Gone By, my weekly warm wax review. As always, if you don't want to watch the whole video, then please check out the description box underneath the video so you can get timestamps for each of the scents that I'm out. So you can pick and choose or watch or not watch. Sorry, my husband is doing some work, so you may hear some uh, running water and the alarm system and all sorts of random stuff going on. Okay, so just to jump into it here, the first one I want to talk about is Candos by Victoria in Iced Orange Bundt Cake. And this one is in the new wax formula, which is like the slightly softer one that came out a couple months ago. Actually, my husband threw this one on. So um, it was the day that I was working late and I told him to pick out something he wanted. So he put this one on in the entryway in the Glade Warmer. This one is Sweet Vanilla Icing Buttery Vanilla Cake and with Scents of Orange. It is a really nice scent on cold and on hot. And it's like a perfect combination of like a nice fresh orange with a bakery orange. It kind of has like notes of both. It's really, really nice here. However, um, I just don't remember this one very much. I don't remember smelling it that much when I came home and then we went to bed. I did keep this one on overnight. And the next morning, um, I don't remember smelling anything the next morning either. So I do want to remelt this one just to see that maybe I was having like an off day and just really wasn't uh, very attentive that day or what was going on. I will say that in the Glade Warmer, um, even though this is the softer wax formula, it still did not melt all the way. And there was like that lumpy hardened wax kind of around the edge of the warmer. So that was still going on. Um, and I'm going to call this a medium throw for now because I feel like if it was a stronger throw, I probably would have noticed it. So I'm going to call that a medium throw, but I'm going to tr I'm going to want to redo that one here um, at some point. If I place another order, I will rebuy that one just to see. Okay, the next one I want to talk about here is not an empty. It's a bag from Candles from the Keeping Room that I am working on. And this one is in Ginger Lime in the uh, Sun Tart. So I melted two of these this last week upstairs in my bedroom. I put um, one in the Glade Warmer in the bathroom and then one in the 24 watt hot plate in the bedroom. It had a good throw both times. It was really nice and strong and it's kind of surprising. Um, I think in her scent description, Carol calls this sort of like um, like a green scent or like clean scent, something like that. And it really is. And it definitely also has like a zesty lime smell, but somehow it is kind of green and clean. I don't know. It's a really, really nice one. I really do love the scent. Like I said, I'm not really sure how to describe it, but from a single tart both times, it was a good throw. And then from the scent description, um, she says that there is lemon and lime in here, as well as honey ginger. I don't really know what ginger smells like. Nothing in here smells like honey to me. Just a very refreshing, clean scent. So this is a really great one in the bedroom and one of my favorites of the week, surprisingly enough. Kind of an odd scent, I think. Um, not something that I would normally gravitate to, but that one was a surprising one. I really, really love that one. Okay, the next one here, also from Candles from the Keeping Room, it was a single, like, grubby scallop in lavender mint. I threw this one on the Glade Warmer um, before I went to sleep, so it was probably melting for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes before I went to bed. I just don't remember smelling it at all before I went to bed, and then the next morning, I don't remember smelling anything either or nothing when I woke up in the middle of the night, so... I don't know if maybe I just wasn't being attentive or if this one just didn't throw that well. So I'm going to go with a low throw for now um, just because I'm not exactly sure what was going on with this one. But on cold, it is really nice. It's, you know, people always say that there's like herbal lavender and sweet lavender and I don't really know. I can't really tell, but it's a, it's a really nice lavender scent, and it's refreshing with that, like, touch of mint in there, but it's not, like, a super minty kind of scent either. Maybe that's why I couldn't smell it. Maybe it was coming across as more of a straight-up lavender or something, but I'm going to call that one a low throw, um, but I would, I would definitely want to reassess that one. This next one here is from Daphne's Divine Scents and Aromas in Buttercream Mint. Buttercream Mint is one of my all-time favorite types of scents because it's, like, a perfect scent between... Um, like a bakery, very sweet kind of scent, and then also a bedroom, relaxing, beautiful kind of scent. And it kind of, it kind of balances both of them really well. So I really, really do like this one. Um, this one in particular seemed to smell like a really super sweet ice cream scent. It's like, it's like walking into an ice cream shop, but like with mint, if that kind of makes any sense. But it is super duper sweet and very authentic to like an ice cream shop. I, ice cream shop, I really thought. Um, so this one, when I put it on, Man, I can't even remember what I melted this one in. I think I melted this one in my Glade Warmer, if I remember correctly, in the bedroom. 
And I have this one down as a medium throw. I said that it was acceptable, but not great. One of those ones that you can smell, but I like this scent so much. I think I definitely would like a high throw out of that one. Maybe next time I'll melt it in the 24 watt hot plate and see how that one does. I have more of that one upstairs. This next one here is one of my favorites from the week from Front Porch and Eucalyptus Spearmint. This one is a remelt for me. I absolutely love Eucalyptus Spearmint. It's one of my all time favorite types of scents. It, I love eucalyptus because it's very kind of like nose clearing, very green, and then I love the addition of the spearmint to it. It's just one of the my all-time favorite just yeah types of scents. I think I already said that before. So this one I melted two grubbies at a time in the um, bedroom, once in the Glade warmer and once in the 24-watt hot plate. Good throw both times. Like a, This one I had melted before and I love and I loved it this time too. It's one of my all-time favorite scents to melt in my bedroom. Actually, and I saw that Brandy from Super Tart, she's going to be doing like a eucalyptus sampler here coming up. And I am going to be all over that because I love eucalyptus. And um, yeah, yeah, I would love to also see more blends with eucalyptus other than spearmint. I, I tend to see the same sorts of blends. Okay, this next one here from Front Porch, also one of my favorites of the week in kudzu. And kudzu is a Japanese flowering plant. And it is the smell of sweetened grapes with green and floral undertones like jasmine and violet. And I would say that that scent description is right on um, because when I smelled it, I said that it was a nice, almost floral type of pretty grape scent. So that is exactly what this is. Sweet grape with a touch of floral and it is very pretty. I melted it into my kitchen because it still came across as like more of a grape scent. Good throw. Both times I melted it in the 24 watt hot plate, two grubbies at a time. I love this one. And you know, this one would actually probably also be good in the bedroom too because it is a very pretty grape. Um, and I love grape scents. That one is one of my favorites. This one from Front Porch is also one of my favorites of the week. Lemon Honeydew Kiwi. This is not a scent I have seen come up uh, again. I believe I got this in my, the lemon sampler a little bit ago. And it's I put this one tart in the... Um, and what did I put this one in? I got this, put this one in the Glade Warmer in the entryway. I could smell it, but it really wasn't too strong. So I'm going to consider this one a high throw. It is a sugary sweet scent with like a tiny bit of tartness, maybe coming from the kiwi. Or, I'm not really sure. Or from the lemon, but it is a really nice scent. And it's one of those ones that I just haven't seen these three particular fruits blended before. And uh, kiwi to me is always interesting. Sometimes kiwi comes off as more tart. At least to me, it comes off as a little bit more tart. I think I've seen other people just describe it as like a non-generic sweet fruit scent. But anytime I run across kiwi, I just, I just think it's just an interesting scent. So high throw from that one, and I really, really enjoyed that one. This next one here from L3 Waxy Wonders also was one of my favorites of the week, and I don't have that much L3 left. Um, this one is in Cinnamon Crunch Cake Pumpkin Vanilla. Because of the pumpkin, I decided to grab it since I'm getting into my fall scents. I did cut this chunk in half, which I have heard is recommended for L3, if not into quarters. I have heard that her stuff um, just tends to do better in quarters or in a half, so don't melt the whole chunk at one time. I put one of the chunks, or one half of this chunk, in the Glade Warmer, and then... Um, it did really well, actually, in the Glade Warmer. I could smell it. I was moving around the house, and it was very present. And then I put the other chunk in the 24-watt hot plate in the kitchen, and it did even a little better. It was it was easy to smell. I could really smell it everywhere. This one is like a really kind of like maybe spicy type of pumpkin with a creamy undertone, but you could definitely get a spicy note as soon as you smell it. It's a really nice one, so I'm going to call this one a good throw. Um, yeah, I really, this one was a winner for sure. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Really good pumpkin scent and good performance. It was a really good piece of wax. This next one here is from Mariposa Candle Company in Berry Harvest. And this may have been like the most red wax I have ever seen in my life. I don't, I don't know why, but oh, well, oh man, I'm throwing it around. But for some reason, like it just looked really, really red. And when I put it in my blue warmer plate, it just was like the color contrast between the red and the blue was just crazy. This one is getting a little bit on the older side. What is that, like maybe nine months old or something like that? So this is Berry Harvest. I put three cubes in the Glade Warmer in the entryway, three cubes in the 24-watt hot plate in the kitchen. Um, it definitely did better in the kitchen than it did in the entryway. So when I was in the kitchen, I could smell it pretty easily when I was moving around the kitchen. In the living room, I could still smell it, but it was definitely lighter. Not an overpowering kind of sense. Um, I would call this one a high throw overall, and I wrote that it is definitely strong in a sweet, slightly artificial strawberry type of scent, but to me that was the strongest note. I did enjoy it. It was a good scent. Um, if I read the scent description on her website, she says this is strawberries, blackberries with a hint of apricot, pear, lavender, and jasmine, um, but maybe I can smell apricot and pear. No, it's mostly strawberries. 
I don't smell any lavender and jasmine, I'll, I'll tell you that much, but it is a really nice kind of strawberry scent, so I would get that one again, and for the wax being nine months old, I was very happy with a high throw, especially considering that's 100% soy wax. I know the soy wax tends to have a shorter shelf life than the parasoy, definitely shorter than the paraffin. Okay, the next one here is from Mimi's Tars, and this one is in Gooey Candy Milk Bread. I was really kind of like sad about this one, because I really love this scent. This one is a Beau Save on Frey um, blend that Mimi's Tarts acquired probably about a year ago. She bought the formula and some of the fragrances and everything. I love this scent. It's just a, it's a really good scent. I love milk scents. You know, they always come across as a little, what is the word, bitter, sour kind of smelling. They're, they're distinctive. And this one definitely has that kind of smell. I really like it. And I, I can smell a bread note in here. I don't, I do not smell zucchini bread. It just smells like a bread, but it's a really great scent. This is one of my favorites. Um, that I've smelled. However, I put two of these lattice pies in the 24 watt hot plate and I didn't really get anything. And then I put the other two lattice pies in the glade warmer in my study. And then I got like maybe a tiny bit better, but really not much of anything at all. So I would call this one a low throw. And I love this scent and I was so excited to melt it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get around to my gooey candy milk bread. And then just, just really nothing. Um, I would get this one again just to try it one more time. You never know if I was having like an off day or what was going on um, or whatever. But I mean, I love the scent. The throw just was not there for me at all on this one. Oh yeah, also um, halfway through this week, I did put a Glade warmer in my study. So I now have five warmers going in my house. One in the kitchen, which is 24 watt. I have a Glade in my entryway, a Glade in my study now, and then upstairs, I have a Glade in the bathroom and then a Glade and a 24 watt side by side in my bedroom and I kind of rotate between them. So um, yeah, having the extra warmer in the study kind of makes me happy because I am I do spend a lot of time in there like uh, doing my YouTube stuff or you know uploading my videos or things like that. So it is nice to have something that I can smell fairly strongly in my study. And uh, the reason I didn't have anything in there before was that was where my rabbit, um, where my rabbit Bobby lived was in the study and he did pass away. I you know I haven't. You know, he passed away about three, three months ago, something like that, about the same time that I, I went on vacation and I just haven't addressed it, it, you know, anyways, but he's not in there anymore. That was the reason I didn't melt anything in my study, just because I didn't want my rabbit like overwhelmed with all types of scents. And now he's not there and we're kind of moving everything else back into the study, you know, um, where his cage was. It's kind of sad, but so anyways, I have a warmer in there now. Um, that's just kind of the way that it's working. Okay, so the next one here I want to talk about is from Rainbow Melts. This one is Pomegranate Squeeze. And this was a blend by, I think Angie came up with this blend. And she, everybody was calling it like Palm Squeeze, P-O-M. But when like my eyes are really not focused, it looked like Porn Squeeze, P-O-R-N. I was like, Porn Squeeze? Okay, anyways, this was Pomegranate and Lemon Curd. And um, it was a really cute, chunky flower. So I cut it in half. I put half of it in a 24 watt, 24 watt hot plate one time. It was like a medium throw. I could really only smell it very strongly if I was like closest to the warmer. And then another day I put the other half in the glade warmer and the entryway. And I just don't really remember smelling it that much. Like I, I just remember like turning it off. And then like the next day I just couldn't remember how it did when it was in the entryway. So I'm going to call this one as a medium throw overall. Um, this one has a, is a very strong lemon curd scent. I am actually not a fan of lemon curds. I probably would not seek this out again. I think lemon curd to me, it's too, it's kind of thick smelling. It's kind of a thick, lemon curd to me is kind of like a thick smelling artificially type lemon, if that makes any sense. So maybe that's why I don't like it. I know there's plenty of people that love lemon curd. It's just not for me. Um, and I just didn't get the performance, my normal Rainbow Mouse performance out of that one, which also could have been, you know, like a one-off experience or whatever. But that one is just not my particular uh, fragrance preference. This next one here is Purple Cow Cotton Candy. And this one you can see is pretty old. It's getting up on about 11 months old. So I wasn't really sure what to expect from this one, but it had a high throw. I was actually pretty surprised. So I put three squares in the Glade Warmer and it had about like a medium high throw when I did that. I could smell it but it wasn't overpowering and then the next time I put um the other three squares in the 24 watt hot plate in the kitchen and I could definitely smell it easier it was like a high to a good throw in the kitchen really nice grape scents a little bit stronger on the grape than the cotton candy so I really really like this one um it's a really good blend and grape and cotton candy really go well together purple cow for those of you that don't know is grape and I think vanilla ice cream but definitely like it's to me it just really comes across as a very sweet creamy grape scent so 
that one is a winner for sure, especially when you think about the age of the wax and how well it did. Okay, this next one here from Rainbow Mouse was another um, chunky kind of uh, flower tart in Tahitian Waterfall. I did not find the scent description when I went to the Rainbow Mouse website, but I did find a scent description for a Tahitian Waterfall um, fragrance oil. And this is what they say it is. Jasmine, lilies, violets, mist in the mist of a tropical waterfall. And apparently it's a dupe for some kind of downy fabric softener. Um, so if any of you guys out there know for sure, I, I guess that, I don't know. I don't use fabric softeners, so I don't really know. It is actually, I can kind of see it now. That would smell good with clothing. Yeah, it is really nice. And now that, it, so, yeah, it kind of does smell like that. It has, like, that kind of, like, watery, misty smell along with, like, the floral scent. So the scent description for the fragrance oil sounds like that is what is in here. Um, I put half of this in the Glade Warmer in the bathroom. It was, like, a medium high. And then I threw the other half of this one into the, uh, into the bedroom. I don't remember the warmer that I used. But then I also wrote down that I didn't remember a thing about it. It's another one of those times that you're melting something, you turn it off, and then the next day you just don't remember. So it's not like it's strong enough that you really remember or like weak enough that you like notice that it's not there. It's kind of like in the middle. So I would call this one a medium high throw overall. And actually, when I wrote down what I thought it smelled like, I did write down that it was a pretty watery scent, maybe with some floral, which is pretty much what the scent description is. It does smell nice. So um, actually, if I ever see that fabric softener, I'll have to give it a sniff and see if that one smells um, like, like, oh man. Man, I absolutely can't stand that. I don't, can't stand it when my phone rings. But whenever my phone rings, it always scares the, scares the crap out of me. And uh, do you guys know that song by Lady Gaga, the one that's like telephone? And it's just the, like the lyrics that are kind of about like a guy, like she's trying to go out or something and like her boyfriend keeps calling her on her phone or something like that. But I think she said at one point that it was actually more about like the fact that her phone kept like ringing continuously for work stuff like in Lady Gaga's real life. So like every time the phone rang, it was like the phone is ringing and somebody else wants something and it's another problem or more stress. And um, sometimes that's how I feel about my phone. Not, not because of my family. That was my mom on the phone. That's perfectly fine. But like um, in the work that I do, it's not the kind of job that you can... It's not, the kind, it's not the kind of job that you leave at... It's not the kind of job that you leave at work. You come home and you always wonder if something's going wrong or what's going on. Or when the phone rings, you just don't, never know what kind of problem it's going to be. So sometimes that's how I feel about my phone. Like my phone! That was a minute of me rambling about nothing. Back to the wax. Um... This next one here is from Starlit Candles. This one is in pink birthday cake. And these were like five of the sunny kind of shaped tarts, dual colored and everything. Really nice scent. Very, very sweet pink sugar scent, obviously. A little bit stronger on the pink sugar than the birthday cake. But a really nice blend. I love myself some pink sugar. So I put three of these sunburst tarts in the um, 24, watt, 24 watt hot plate. And it was like a medium throw. I was really hoping it would be stronger. And then I put two tarts in the exact same warmer, the 24 watt hot plate another night. And for some reason it just seemed to do better. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't know like what's going on or maybe because it was less wax, it did better. Could have been a, could have been it too. But I was lying down on my couch in my living room and I could smell this like wafting over to me when I was melting the two tarts. Um, so anyways, I really, really do like this one here. And I'm going to consider this one a high throw overall. I really do enjoy the blend. Oh, one that I meant to do, but this is not an empty, but I wanted to talk about it, is a Rose Girls um, pie. You can see that there is a slice missing. And so I, this one is in um, pink sugar type, baked zucchini bread, and marshmallow smoothie. I actually melted this pie slice yesterday. So I cut the pie in two chunks. I don't know if most people do two or three. I think I, I just did two. And I put it in the 24 watt hot plate. And it had like, it had like a high, about a high throw, I would say. Um, and it was melting in the 24 watt hot plate and it threw for about maybe three to four hours. And then it kind of just seemed to fizzle out a little bit. Then it was definitely got a little bit lighter. So I love this scent so much that I put on something else. And then I was like, then I took the other thing off. And I'm like, what am I going to melt now? And I'm like, I'm going to melt this again. So I took the other part of the spice slice and put it in there. And it was the same thing. It was like a high throw. So it's, you can definitely smell it, but it's not like super duper duper strong. But when I was sitting down on my couch in the in the living room, I could detect this like kind of wafting over to me. I would say that this one is a little bit stronger on the pink sugar than the zucchini bread. I would not mind the zucchini bread maybe being a little bit stronger. So if I got this one again, I would actually probably overpour it with the zucchini bread rather than the marshmallow smoothie, which that's what I think I use for the overpour this time. But one of my favorites of the week 
one of my all-time favorite types of blends. You guys know I love pink sugar. I love zucchini bread. So um, all of it together is just really good stuff. Okay, now moving on. Let's see here. This next one here is from Super Tarts. This one is in strawberry lemon pound cake. This one is from the sampler. I think the August sampler, I think this, or was it the September? I think this was the August sampler I got this one in. I really do like Super Tarts strawberry. It's just a nice strawberry scent. This one is seems like a little bit more um, potent on the strawberry. I'm not exactly sure why. This one comes across as very, very sweet. Definitely stronger on the strawberry with like a hint of a little bit of lemon in there, but the strawberry is really the standout scent in that one. So I put this one in the 24 watt hot plate two times and it had a good throw, nice and strong, no complaints. I will say though that this did kind of surprise me. So you see I got this clamshell on August 28th and it's already doing that like, that thing, you know, where, where clamshells kind of get like really soft. So like this one in particular seemed really soft. Now these here, this one seems pretty firm. That one's a little bit soft. So like sometimes I just don't understand like in, like why that one is more firm, why that one's softer. It doesn't make any sense. But um, yes, yeah, so I'm not exactly sure. It normally takes longer for the clamshells to get to the to get to that point where they're a little bit squishy. But that one was a little squishy. So I may at one point go and check the rest of my clamshells and just kind of see how they are. I know that there's a lot of people that'll take the clamshell and then they'll just like repackage it in a polypropylene bag. There's a lot of people that don't like clamshells. I, I know that for sure because they tend to get like that. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go check mine later. This next one here from The Bathing Garden is Sleepy. This is one of my all-time favorite types of scent blends and one of my favorites of the week. Pink sugar, peppermint, and vanilla. It is just absolutely amazing. It is just so nice and strong in the peppermint. It smells like winter. You can get the pink sugar. And the one that and you can get the vanilla, but like unless you knew it was in there, you would almost think this is just like a pink sugar and peppermint scent. But there is there is something just kind of magical about this blend. It's one of my all-time favorites from the bathing garden. The next time I see this one come out, I'm gonna buy like five of them. It's just it's just that good. And the throw from this one too is also decent. So I put three cubes in the Glade Warmer in the bedroom, three cubes in the bathroom in the Glade Warmer, and it had a high throw, maybe somewhere on a high to a good or a high throw. When it was in the bathroom, actually, I could smell it as I was walking down the hallway towards the bathroom. It was like coming out. And um, the scents normally don't do that. They normally contain themselves to the bathroom, but this one was like coming down the hallway. So I definitely did like that one. That was warm when it was like a high to a good throw. Yeah, so good piece of wax. Um, I was happy with the throw. Great scent. Absolutely one of my favorites. This next one here from the bathing garden, this one is the Lonely Wood. I melted this one in the Glade Warm in the bathroom two times. The throw was like a solid medium to maybe a medium high, but probably closer to a medium. I wrote down that it smelled like a minty wood scent, which is, I, that's what I wrote, minty wood scent. And I said there smells like there is something else in here, maybe a floral question mark. And, you know, the throw being a medium to a medium high kind of thing, I thought was acceptable for my bedroom stuff. And it is a really gorgeous scent. Now, what is in here is apples, herbal mint, greens, and tea bark. No floral. But you can definitely get the mint and you can definitely get the, the, tea, uh, the tea bark, the tree bark, and everything like that. Apples? I don't remember smelling apples and I really don't smell it that much here, like what's left in the clam show. But anyways, that one is, it's a good one. It's definitely a good one for sure. This next one here is from The Spotted Hog and this drives me crazy. So this one, I, I got this a long time ago when I first got into vendor wax. This was last year, 2013, but they don't put any, they didn't put a label on this thing. So I knew what it was. So I had to go to the website and um, this one was like this really cute whippet tart and it's like this chunky tart and it had like a pig on the top. So that was fairly easy to find it. Um, this one is actually called Happy as a Pig in a dot, dot, dot. Um, anyways, this one actually did pretty darn good. I threw this entire Whippet in the 24 watt hot plate and it had a good throw. It was a really nice caramelly, sugary, bakery type scent. Just that, that kind of scent. Um, so good performance, good scent. And the Happy as a Pig in a dot, 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 it's Piggy Munch, which is popcorn, caramel, and toffee mixed in with more caramel, toasted pralines, 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 and pecans, 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 whatever, those things. So that is what is in here. If you guys kind of like that type of scent, you know, like the, the nutty, caramelly, like really thick bakery type of scent, this would be right up the alley. And for this one being, you know, what is this? About a 11 months old, um, and it was still a good throw, I was pretty happy with that one. This next one here is uh, 30 Street Crafts, and this one is in As You Wish. So this is a Victoria's Secret Love Spell dupe, and it is um, peach, strawberry, raspberry, and white musk. So I have smelled Victoria's Secret Love Spell before. I had a, um, a 
uh, what do you call it, a friend in the Navy that really loved to wear this one. This one smells, to me, right on from what I remember that Love Spell smelling like. I, Love Spell was nothing that I was ever super crazy about myself, but it, as soon as I smelled this tart, I was like, yep, yep, that smells so familiar. And, and it really does. It, it kind of has like a dark, a dark, sexy kind of vibe to it. I mean, I know on here they say peach, strawberry, raspberry, and white musk, but it definitely doesn't smell like anything that I've ever really smelled before. It's a very distinctive fragrance for you guys that have not smelled this one. Um, so this was a set of cameos. I put one in the 24 watt hot plate in the bedroom and then one in the glade warmer in the bathroom. Good throw both times. Nice and strong from a single cameo. No complaints. Um, this next one here is one of my favorites of the week from 30 Street Crafts. And this one is in pie in the sky and it's oven apples spices and crust along with zucchini bread spices sugar nutmeg and marshmallows this one is absolutely amazing i really love this one this is a really pretty chunk melted the entire thing in the 24 watt hot plate of the kitchen it had a good throw i could really smell the apples and the zucchini bread and then i also could definitely get the spices and i could smell like a buttery bakery crust in here too so like all those notes i could smell all of it I will say, though, that this one did seem to fizzle out at about four hours, so it was like a good throw, and then after like, you know, like the four-hour-ish point, it really lightened up, and it was really more of like a medium throw after that. You could still smell it, but yeah, you could definitely detect that like it threw real well, and then it kind of just like fizzled, but four hours for a good throw for four hours is more than acceptable, I think, to most people in the wax community, and I really, really enjoyed this one, and I love this one, and that one is one of my favorites of the week. Okay, this next one here from Tiffany Candles is in Birthday Bash, and this is from in order from last year, so you can see the wax is getting up there in age. This one is Fruity Loops, Marshmallow, and Birthday Cake. And that Fruity Loops surprised me, because when I was melting it, I didn't remember necessarily smelling it and being like, oh, that's Fruity Loops, because I can definitely recognize that scent. When I, no, I, And you know what? There's so much like sweetness from the Birthday Cake and the Marshmallow in here. I just really don't smell the Fruity Loops. I think I can get a... A little bit of a subtle undertone from it, but it's really not super strong on the Fruity Loop. So this one I put in the 24 watt hot plate in the kitchen, and I did decently. It wasn't overly strong. I could smell it in the air, but it, it was one of those things that you could smell it in the air, but it didn't come off so strongly that it was like an obvious fragrance in the air, if that really makes any, any sense at all. So I would call this one as a medium to a high throw overall for that one, which I think is pretty good for like 10 month or 11 month old wax. This next one here is from Two Tommy Tart, getting into the stack here. This one is in Blue Sugar Sea Salt Lotus. It's an absolutely gorgeous scent on cold. I love blue sugar. I love salty sea air scents when they're mixed with other stuff. And I love the lotus scent. It kind of gives it just that slight touch of like that floral feminine kind of note. Um, however, when I melted this one in my bedroom in my 24 watt hot plate, I really just really didn't get that much of a throw at all. I don't know why. Blue sugar is normally really, really strong, and I was thinking this one was going to kick me in the face. It just didn't. So I, I'm going to call this one as a low throw. Now, I do have, I think, do I have more of this? I really hope I do, because I want to reassess it. There's been plenty of times that sometimes I'm off on a day, so I don't know. I would have really expected this one to be stronger, but for some reason, I just really couldn't smell it at all. Um, this next one here from Two Timing Tart is... Green tea, lemongrass, neg shampa, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and neg shampa is like a is an Indian incense kind of scent. When this one is on cold, you can get that incense scent very strongly. When it's on hot, the incense scent is definitely tempered out. So if you guys are not big fans of incense, um, it does mellow when it is hot. I've noticed that. So this is the second time I've melted this one. It's been a high both times that I melted it. This time I melted it in the bathroom in the glade warmer. I really enjoy this one. It's just a really nice scent. It's kind of like spicy and dark, um, but also clean. It's just really good, but it does smell better melted than it does on cold. I will say that much, but I really do love that one. This next one here from Two Timing Tart is Zen. This one actually I really quite like. So I have melted this one before. The first time I melted it, I got a low throw. So this is like the second time, you know, remelt for me. I wanted to see how it would do. I put three cubes in the Glade Warmer and then three cubes in the 24 watt hot plate, both in my bedroom. And this one, actually, the throw was like a high. As soon as I walked in the room, I could smell it. It smelled green and minty is what I thought it was. It was a really nice, relaxing, minty, very pretty scent. I really liked it. I'm not exactly sure why the first time I melted it, I got a low throw, and this time I got a high throw. I don't know. But I'm, this one, overall, I'm classifying as a medium to kind of average out the two. Um, now, the actual scent description for this one is rosemary mint and honey sweet lemongrass. 
And it is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And actually, I can't smell the rosemary now that I know that's in here. I could definitely get some kind of like herbal scent. But it's like herbally and it's minty and it's clean and green. It's a really, really nice one. But that mint scent, I think the rosemary mint is what hits you first when you first smell it when it's hot. It's That's like the standout um, for that one there. Sorry, I'm throwing things around over here. This next one here from Two Timing Tart is... Um, Pink Watermelon Snow Kissed Mittens. And this one was a, uh, I think it was a sample I got in one of my orders a while ago. And it was like a chunk. So this one is a really interesting scent. And I love the scent because the Snow Kissed Mittens is like this clean, crisp air kind of scent. It's very wintry. And then she mixed, you know, she blended it with a watermelon, which is a very summery, fresh, you know, fruit kind of scent. But together, they actually really do well. It's kind of a surprising one. So I did cut this chunk in half. I melted half of this in the glade in the bathroom. It was pretty strong, fairly strong, about a high throw. It smelled great. Really love this one. Um, and However, it did seem to fizzle out after only maybe like two to three hours. So this one was throwing at a high for about two to three hours. And afterwards, it was like a low throw. I really couldn't smell much at all. Um, the other half I threw in the 24-watt hot plate in my bedroom. It was like on Friday. I took Friday off, so I was home. So I threw it on like on, on the Friday morning, and then I went around the house, did stuff. I came back to my bedroom maybe four to five hours later, and I just didn't really smell anything. So if this, if it fizzled out at like the three-hour point like it did in the bathroom, that could explain it. It could have been throwing up there and then just fizzled, and by the time I got back, there just wasn't any scent left. But I would get that one again just because it's a really interesting scent. It's a, just an interesting marriage between the, the summer and the winter, I think. So, anyways, that one's really interesting. This next one here from Victoria's Designer Creations. This one is in Mango Paradise. Sorry, or Ango. It's Mango. Where's my M? Where's my M? Mango Paradise. And this one was like a really pretty chunk. So it had like a harder wax. It's like a square chunk on the bottom. And then it was topped with like that really soft kind of like thick gooey kind of wax and then it had like a really round like a round thing at the top so a really cute little chunky thing um I cut it into half I melted it in my 24 watt hot plate both times and that's because that kind of like soft gooey wax it does not come out of the it does not come out of the hot plate um with the freezer method really at all so you really have to hot dump it so that's why I only hot dump downstairs in my kitchen because if I try to hot dump anywhere else I'm going to be like getting wax on something I don't want to get wax on. On my kitchen counter, like, I'm okay with it. So this one went into the kitchen both times. So both times in the 24-watt hot plate. Good throw. Both times, actually. It really filled up the entire kitchen living room area. Um, I would say mango is not the dominant scent in here. What I was really getting was a coconut scent as a dominant scent. But it wasn't like an awful coconut. It kind of smells like a toasted coconut, if that makes like a bakery coconut, if that makes any sense. But anyways, it definitely has that kind of tropical paradise kind of thing you know mango pineapple coconut all those kinds of notes but a good throw from that one so actually that was a really really good piece of wax the next one here from victoria's design creations this one here is in fig berries this was like a grubby uh square thing i put this one in the glade warmer in the entryway it was about a medium throw i was walking around the house and i could smell it but it wasn't like you know super duper strong it wasn't one of those ones that you know filled up my loft area with scent or anything like that but i could smell it I don't know what kind of berry is in here. There's not a single note in there that's super obvious. Um, it just kind of smelled like a nice generic kind of fruit scent. This next one here from Victoria's Designer Creations. This one is in lemon custard cheesecake. And it was a really cute decorated uh, scent shot. And this one I actually liked. I really like cheesecake scents. I know they kind of come off as like thick and sour. But I like that about them. Just a really nice like sugary sweet lemon mixed in with that sour thick cheesecake. So... I did enjoy it. This one I melted in the 24 watt hot plate in the kitchen. High throw. I could smell it in the kitchen throughout pretty easily. Living room, I could still smell it, but it wasn't super powerful. Really do like this one. It's definitely an interesting scent. It's interesting. And I think the reason this is interesting is the lemon in here is more sugary sweet than some of the other lemons I've gotten with cheesecake scents, maybe. But it, I really do like that one. And another one from Victoria's Design of Creations. This one is in Passionate Kisses. This was a set of like a... Uh, uh, decorated lips and I do not know what this is supposed to smell like um the Victoria's Secret type so obviously one of their perfumes I put the whole set of lips in the Glade Warmer in the bathroom and I just didn't really smell anything I don't remember smelling anything I remember looking for it and I couldn't smell it um uh, I, I unless I was like right above the wax pool I really could not smell anything so I'm gonna call this one a low throw I did melt this one overnight and then the next day I still really could not smell anything at all it kind of smells like 
cherries, like a dark, sexy, thick cherry kind of scent, but I have no idea um, what is in that one. Okay, the next one here is from Vintage Chic Scents, and this was a single scent shot in Happy Birthday, Mr. President, and this one is Pink Sugar, Strawberries, and Birthday Cake. I put this one in the Glade Warmer in the study, and it, it really was not that strong. It was about a medium, especially in my study, because it's, you know, more of an enclosed room. Uh, I was hoping that this would do a little better and kind of, like, really fill it up, but it really was more of a medium throw. I could smell it, but really was not that strong. And uh, I wrote down that this was a really sweet marshmallow type of bakery scent. So it did surprise me to see that there was pink sugar in here because I really couldn't tell that there was pink sugar in here. I'm, the birthday cake in here is really strong. And if that birthday cake scent is the same fragrance oil that she uses in her... Uh, shoot, what is her birthday cake scent? Jackie O? Is that her birthday cake one with like vanilla bean Noel? She has an excellent birthday cake scent. And that the birthday cake is the strongest note in there actually, which is surprising because pink sugar is normally the standout note. Okay, this next one here is from World of Wax and Suds. And this one is in Blueberry, which is Blueberry and um, Strawberry. Is that what it's in the blue? I forgot. Anyways, Blueberry is really Blueberry dominant. So that's the dominant note in there, at least to me. And uh, Sugar Cookie Dough. These were six of the flower tarts. Packaged really cute. They're like stacked up. Not, not the normal way that you'd normally see them packaged and everything. So... I put three flower tarts in the Glade Warmer in the study, and it was about a medium throw. I put the other three tarts in the 24-watt hot plate, and it was like a medium to a high throw. So I'm going to count this one as a medium to a high throw overall. I definitely would like this to be stronger, um, just because of my bakery scents. I really do like at least a high throw out of that one. But it is a nice scent. So my camera cut off. I'm having a weird day. Anyways, going back to... This one here, um, like I said, it is a really nice blueberry. I did enjoy it. It really wasn't too overly thick. So that one is a really nice one. Um, nice one on the scent, but I would like a better throw. The next three here are all Yankee Candle. So I'm going to start off with this one here in just plain old eucalyptus. And I know I've already said I love eucalyptus. I, I know I talked about that front porch eucalyptus spearmint, but I just really like eucalyptus. It's such like a clean green scent. And on the Yankee Candle website, they call it clean and bracing b-r-a-c-i-n-g and um yeah i mean it's definitely it definitely demands attention for sure so i really do like this one this one had a good throw in the bathroom and the glade warmer nice and strong very refreshing love it love it love it um this next one here from yankee candle this one is in treehouse memories and i really do love this scent um as you guys may or may not know i really love woodsy scents this one is supposed to smell like warm earthy woods and spices so i have melted this one before uh the first time it was a low throw. Now, I'm, when I remelted it this time in the Glade in the bathroom, uh, I got more of like a medium high throw. Now, it's kind of weird to say this. So the scent for this one is kind of more of a subtle type of scent, which sometimes makes it like harder to detect the throw because the scent itself is more subtle. So it could be throwing fairly decently, but it's just not an in-your-face kind of scent. And that's what this one really reminded me of. But I could easily smell like the wood notes when I was like walking around my bathroom and I could, I thought I could also smell some kind of like fire kind of note, like a smoky note. Um, there's no smoky note in here in the scent description, but it has that kind of smell to me. It's, it's really nice. So I'm going to call that one as a medium throw overall, taking into account both of the experiences I've had with it. Now this last one here from Yankee Candle is in turquoise sky. And this one is in one of the jar wax melts, you know, the ones that are supposed to like push right out of the warmer when it's um when it's cooled after like you know 12 hours or whatever you don't need to do the freezer method with this supposedly historically all of my jar wax melts i have been able to push out this one did not push out i had to actually do the freezer method with, with it to pop it out now this one according to the yankee website it smells like calm salty air with hints of seagrass and musk it is a really really gorgeous scent oh my goodness it's just really gorgeous it's just you do get that like salty air scent. And I will say this actually, um, I will say this. So I have gotten like salty air scents from a lot of the vendors. This salty air scent from Yankee is a touch better than the salty air scents that the vendors use. The ones that the vendors use always come off as a little, there's something to them where they're kind of thick. This one actually smells a lot more authentic to like, to like a salty air scent. Um, but that's why they're Yankee. One thing Yankee does, I may say that the throw from Yankee tarts vary considerably. However, when it comes to the scents themselves, Yankee's good at that, right? And maybe no fragrance, no, maybe no other fragrance company has been able to dupe this exact sort of like saltier scent. 
that does smell really amazing. And you can, you can get like the musk notes and like the earthy kind of notes out of there too. So this one um, I put in the Glade Warmer in the bathroom and it did well. This one was a good throw. So I really absolutely adore this one. One of my favorites of the week. Love this scent. Good throw from it. So definitely no complaints for that one. Okay, you guys. So that is it. That is the whole sense of days gone by. So I hope that you guys may have seen something in here that, um, that helped you out or intrigued you. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.